Welcome everyone. Today we're learning how to make your suffragette sashes and what you can do is come to the library and get one of these take and make suffragette sash kits and what you'll get in here is some instructions about how to make your sash and a ribbon for your sash that you can decorate any way you want. So today we're going to show you how to decorate it, give you some creative ideas and then you can be as creative as you want. And so what you're going to do first is you're going to take your ribbon out of the bag and you're wanting to measure it. So you're going to put it over your shoulder and then put it down and cut it. Or if it's long enough, then just leave it there and it goes down to your hip. And these were meant to show people that they were part of the suffrage movement. And they also were meant to show off women's figures because they wanted to emphasize the fact that they were women and they should be getting votes. So it's kind of a fun piece of info there. But what we have here is so many different decorating um, pieces here. We have pipe cleaners, puffy paint, feathers. We have some pom-poms, felt. I even have more sequins to add. So really just grab any craft supplies that you have at home. You can use markers, you can use paint, anything. Make sure you ask your parents for help if you're gonna use a hot glue gun. But um, grab any creative um, craft items from your home and get started. So what we did is we made some of these yellow roses out of pipe cleaners and you can bend those any way you want. You can see we have lots of different versions here and we put those specifically because the suffrage movement, yellow roses were meant to symbolize they were part of the suffrage movement. And some main colors were yellow, white, and purple. So those ones we have right here. And make sure you don't use red because red stood for the people that were against suffrage. So we don't want to have that at all. So we specifically have our yellows and purples here. So you can bend your roses and then glue them on. But what you might want to do first is write what you want to write on your sash. So a couple ideas, you can write votes for women, you can write women's suffrage centennial 2020, um, suffrage movement, anything you want. You can write go girl, anything that you think would, you know, help you remember the suffrage movement. So I think I'm going to write votes for women and I have some puffy paint here. So I'm going to try to just use this yellow puffy paint here but you can use anything you have. I'm sure if you had a big Sharpie, that would work well. If you had some glittery paint, that would be fun. Just about anything that will work on here. It is a really fun glittery material, so you have to be kind of creative. And when you use the puff paint, you do have to be careful because it does take a little time to dry. It's a little messy, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so we have votes, and then I'm going to use some pink now. And we want to make sure when you guys make these that you share them with us. So please go on our social media and post all your pictures, send them to us. You can email us at coolidgepubliclibrary at penal.gov. You can tag us on social media. Our hashtag read a CPO, read a couple books, is a great way for us to see what you've been doing. But make sure you share those and tag us because we'd love to see what you're doing. And also be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see all the things we're up to, including this video. Okay, so now I have votes for women on here with my paint. The white's a little bit hard to see, so that's good to know. I might put some sequins on it though, so you can see it. So, let's see. I have lots of different sequins here. And this is not the only way you can do it. It's just meant for you to have fun. So definitely be creative here and don't feel like you have to do it this way. Okay, so I'm just going to put some sequins on the W here so you can see what that looks like. But you could definitely put more glitter, 
put pom poms, buttons, anything you like. So that's kind of what this looks like. And then I told you about using hot glue. Make sure you ask your parents for help, but you can hot glue your roses on there and you could even get fake flowers and glue those on. That would be a lot of fun. These were pretty easy to make. We just bent some pipe cleaners and you can just make them any way you want, like I said, so it's fun. So I'm gonna glue a few of those on. You could even put stickers on here. Just about anything would be fun. Okay, we even made some little curly cues out of the pipe cleaners and that was pretty cute too, so. I'll add that on as well. And just cause I don't think I mentioned it in the beginning, but my name is Megan and I'm a librarian here at Coolidge Public Library and I'm excited to work on these sashes with you guys. And I can't wait to see what yours turn out like as well. And remember that if you participate in any of our women's suffrage activities, this one counts, um, come to the library. You can make an appointment or a curbside appointment, and then you can get some free suffrage books. So be sure to come in and mention that because we'd love for you to get some of those books. Here I have a fun feather, so I'm going to put that on too. But you can really do anything you want. You can make it kind of crazy. Mine looks a little crazy right now. Or make it really clean, make it have the same color scheme, anything you like. So pretty fun. Um, yeah, we have just lots of things we can use. I might put up a couple pom-poms on, but then I think mine might be done. I'm liking the way it looks. And if you can't get enough, you can always decorate the other side too. And then you can have two sides and switch it depending on your mood. So that's a kind of fun idea too. Okay, I put the puffballs in my O's, kind of fun. Okay, so this is just kind of a sample of some things you can do with your sash. Um, you can put paint, as I said, you can put those pipe cleaners, sequins, puffballs, anything you have at home. And nothing is, you know, too crazy to put on there, anything creative that you want to put. So. Yeah, be sure and let us know what your sashes look like and take a picture of you wearing your fun sash and then you can march around your house, around your neighborhood and in your support for the suffrage movement. So like I said, make sure and come to Coolidge Public Library to pick up your Take and Make, suffra take and make Suffragette Sash Kit and you can make an appointment with us, um, do curbside pickup and we're happy for you guys to have one of these sashes. So thank you so much and happy creating.